I bet you're wondering why I have my hat on, why I'm holding a Gillette 1963 Slimline Razor, and why I'm holding a wok. Notice that it has a handle on it, okay? And this has not been seasoned yet. I'm just finally getting around to seasoning it. Before we season it, what we have to do is we have to clean it in order to get all the oil, the shipping oil off of it, which keeps it from rusting. Just like a razor. When you, this was done by my friends out at Black uh, Roads Gold out in Arizona. And what they do is they take this razor totally apart. This was used. They clean it, they wash it, they dip it in acid, and then finally, after it's totally clean, then they apply the nickel plating to it. So that's what they each has in common. Both of those items have to be totally cleaned before we go to the next step, which is seasoning or plating in case of the razor. So if we don't remove this handle, I'm going to show you what it looks like. I had a, a walk that I had a few years ago, excuse my head, that I seasoned in my stove, or my oven rather, and you can see what I did to the handle right there. It's really not in good shape. I burned it. Uh, it's still usable. This is like 15 years old, but if you don't want this to occur, there's a, way, a couple ways you can do that. Number one, you can remove it like I'm going to do on this video. And then the second thing, a method of doing it is you can wrap it, soak this in water first of all, make it nice and wet, take a, a cloth or a paper towel, I would take a wet cloth, soaking wet, wrap it around here, take some tin foil, that's right, aluminum foil, tin foil, wrap that around and make sure it's nice and tight and then put that whole thing in your oven. When it comes out, this should not be uh, burnt like my other uh, wok was. And why the hat? Because when you're removing things and using screwdrivers and hammers, you need to have all the safety items on you, even safety glasses, but I'm going to skip the safety glasses for right now. Anyway, what, what I'm going to do is the next video when I come back, the handle will be removed, and I'm going to be in, I'll, I'll go through the cleaning process. And it's, I want to make a special video just for doing the cleaning process because it's so, so important. Uh, so many people have uh, contacted me and said they have problems seasoning. Why isn't the seasoning stick? A lot of times only because of the fact that they didn't clean the wok when they first got it. So we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay. What I did is that you can see I got the handle removed. And here's and before we start to wash, I want to uh, show you what I'm going to uh, use to help me get this, this carbon steel round bottom hand hammered walk clean okay first of all I'm going to use a Brillo pad you know, I guess they're called Brillo, Brillos uh, with, with the ones with the soap in it then, I'm, then I've got an old sponge here with a rough side on one side and then I also have Dawn you see the little bird if it's got for, good enough for the birds it's sure enough good enough for this walk okay it'll get it nice and clean Let's start adding some water in here hot water and I'm going to give it two washes both inside and also on the outside of the pan to remove all the oil and make sure, absolutely for sure that there are no uh, oil residue left in this pan. And then I'll stick it on top of the stove for about a couple of minutes to heat it to make sure that all is totally, totally dry with no water because I don't want to put the oil on it uh, in the process of seasoning if there's any dampness in the, in the uh, wok at all. So I'll be right back. Stay tuned. This is, get, this is going to be the exciting thing. And what I'm going to do is, gonna, well, the purpose of this whole thing is to get all the oil off of this wok that they, they put on when they, when they ship this wok so that it doesn't rust. So, make sure you get the handle here. And I may actually get the inside of the handle and I'm going to use this, uh, the rough side and try to get in here and get as, most of this glue out I guess that they put in here is possible because we're going to season that also. Push and squish around a few times, not super critical. Same thing on the outside. But we want to hit all the areas. And this will come out nice. Okay, I'm going to set this off to the side. Now I'm going to get my Brillo pad. We'll get in here and just give it a really good scrubbing. While I'm doing this, it's kind of boring to watch this whole washing process. I could get my water joke book out, but 
I think you'll turn the video off real quick. The next few will be on different methods of seasoning and then you can pick the one that you so choose. All right. This is about done on this side and then we're going to turn it over and do the other side. Oh, there goes my cloth. Oh well. Let's put that off to the side. And then we're going to do this side. This is going to be a little noisy, noisy over here, especially when I drop it. If we don't get this oil off, what I'll do is it'll be an imperfect seasoning job. Maybe I shouldn't say imperfect, but let's say the seasoning won't stick it. adhere to the pan as good as it should if we don't get this oil off. No big deal though, but if it doesn't come off, you can just reseason it again. It's a nice thing about carbon steel. All right, let me just wash this off. This, all right, I'm going to do the, uh, turn this off for a minute. I'm going to do the inside one more time. Just to make sure. I'm going to put my rag back here so it doesn't make so much noise. It doesn't look too cool though, does it? But it does a job. All right, a little more soap. Not as much this time. And this time I'm just going to use a little bit of water. Move this out of the way. And give it a really good scrubbing around the rivets. I'm still making a lot of noise. All the way around. As we uh, season this, I'm going to season it in the oven. And the next video will be on how to season it, another method for seasoning it, because I removed the handle. We'll see how this one turns out. I'm anticipating that it's going to turn out just great. Okay, good enough. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to, another important step, is to rinse it out. Get all the soap off of this and then not dry it completely. I'm going to dry it with a towel first and then I'm going to stick it on the top of the stove on a medium to low flame on my gas stove just to make sure all the water is off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to. Boy, it's beautiful. Okay, good enough. I didn't make too much of a mess. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this rag over here. You like how I grabbed it off the side? You didn't even see that. I'm just going to wipe it down as good as we can. Flip it over. Wipe the inside out. And now we're ready to stick it on the stove. And we're going to dry it on the stove. So I'm going to move this over to the stove for a second. And I'm just going to let it sit there for maybe uh, five or ten minutes to make sure all these little water drops are off and then we'll take it to the next step. I want to thank you for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or ideas, or any way I can improve my videos, just leave the comments below. And uh, please give it a like if you like this type of video and if it was helpful to you. And subscribe because there will be a lot more videos coming down the road here. Thanks again for watching.